Okay, so this is how to um, enter a quotation request into Fleetmatics and the process that's involved. So when we receive a quotation request, the difference between a quotation request and a work order or request is that we are actually going to site first. We need to ascertain what the problem is and then we're basically providing a quote as to what materials we need and how much time we're going to be there for. Um, we then send that quote on to the property manager or the owner and seek their approval before we book it in as a job. So we can see here this uh, quotation request has been received from Meg Barrett. So if we open that one up, very similar to a work order or a maintenance request. But as you can see, we've got quotation request at the top. And it includes the same information as any standard work or maintenance order. So we've got property, tenants, um, and what they're actually wanting us to do. So once we've got the um, property address, we can go into Fleetmatics. And what we need to do is create a job. So one of the plumbers will still need to attend site. So we create the job um, and it was image West End, I mean sorry, image Kent Hill. The location is the property address. So it was 58 Ernestine Street. Sometimes if you copy that in, it won't necessarily pick it up. So that's why I get into the habit of typing it in. And we haven't actually been there before, okay? So we need to create a site and basically what we're doing is just pasting that address in and we put it into site name and we put it into street one and then just with the city we just need to enter that suburb or the city so Eagleby and we create and that's now a new site within the system. Now the contact was the property manager Meg Barrett now job type here what we're going to um, aim for here is quote only so we don't want the plumber to go to site and carry out any works we purely want him to go there to quote um, and then from there we just very similar to any work order, we copy and paste the description. Um, as you can see here, the council has advised it needs to be fixed by the 17th of June. So that would be an important special instruction because we want to be able to get the plumber out to quote, seek approval and then we need to get the job booked in. So with the start date, um, we received that one yesterday, so it was the 29th, and in order to get out to the property, I would be wanting to have that quote done by Wednesday the 3rd, and then that gives us enough time to book the job in the following week and have it completed by the 17th, which is what the property manager is after. So that we can say the 7th of June. Save and close that one. And what we want to do now is just double check that and enter the tenant details. So there's our job that we've just entered there. So we click on that and we scroll down and we just want to check the tenant details. So because we created a new site or property address, we'll need to enter their details. So it's as simple as going back to the work order. So we've got Vanessa. Brendan. And Samantha. Save that and that is now complete and done.